hello. It's your Carpenter of Happiness again. By the way, these videos are completely unscripted and unedited. If I misspeak or stutter, I'm sorry. Uh, but if you're still watching, I guess I'm doing all right. So thank you for coming back. Today, I wanted to talk about what's called Prof Barnett's, or as I call them, Professor Barnett's. Uh, I saw a video by Rose Anvil this week, and I love that guy cutting apart boots. Some of those boots are crap anyway, I don't really care, but um, sometimes it kind of makes me cringe. I don't know if he cuts a pair of Red Wings, I guess I'm okay with that. Someone gave him that, but this time, that nice young man cut open a pair of Professor Barnett's kangaroo boots, and they were just gorgeous boots, and I was kind of cringe, like, oh no, I won't be cutting open any boots, I don't know. Not anytime soon. I'm just going to talk about boots and love and life and stuff like that. So, Professor Barnett's, they are one of the Indonesian bootmakers. There's been a little bit of talk about the Indonesian bootmakers, but maybe we should make a bigger noise because, according to what that gentleman at Rose Anvil said, they are very, very well made, handmade. Uh, these are my Professor Barnett's in front of me here and we'll be talking about that in a minute. Um, they are works of art. They are handmade. Uh, as he mentioned, they are better made than most factory boots or uh, some factory boots um, and better made than a lot of uh, boots here made in the US. So uh, one of the reasons why guys are hesitant is it is something you're mailing from overseas. It's kind of a thing where are there going to be returns? I don't think so. I don't know. There's a number of Indonesian bootmakers. Uh, Indonesia is like an island nation. Thousands of islands, actually, I think. Not all of them are inhabited. It's like a, a, a trade route in the spice uh, trade of the 1600s, 1700s. I think people coming from like Venice and Europe, Marco Polo, and, and those kind of types, uh, Columbus, those ones that we're looking for roots to the, the spice trade. They, um, Asia was much more sophisticated than Europe in so many ways, and so the Europeans were coming to get the things that they didn't have, and I know that the Portuguese were in Indonesia. Of course, we know it was uh, attempted or colonized by the Dutch. I don't know that those Europeans were very nice to the native peoples there, and I don't know what kind of shoes the native peoples were wearing when those European colonists first started arriving. But what we do know is that they taught them things, you know, uh, you know, ex knowledge exchange goes back and forth on every level, even if uh, nations are culturally different, we still exchange ideas. And especially now with the internet and YouTube and everything, um, that exchange of ideas is just awesome, and that's what we need here in, human, in humankind, is to exchange ideas and friendship and love. And so I am so happy that uh, Indonesia is a free country, and that they have some of the most excellent boot makers in the world. And we know that a lot of these boots are hand-welted, they are handmade, and um, the boots that I have are by Professor Barnett's. Now there's a, a number of other ones. Uh, when you buy boots from an Indonesian bootmaker, you may pay almost half price of what you'd be buying from some handmade makers in other parts of the world. Um, we know that in the United States, for instance, like Wesco, the family's name who founded and still owns Wesco is named Shoemaker. I don't think that's an American last name. I don't think any last names are American last names. So shoemaking and bootmaking was also brought here to the United States, as it was to Indonesia. And sometimes countries that still practice some of the old ways have some amazing art and some of the things that we've lost in, in many places. And so when you buy... Professor Barnett's, and I think a lot of Ind Indonesian boots, you will see them on Instagram, and you will communicate with them through Messenger on Instagram. And in particular, Professor Barnett's, there's a wonderful gentleman, Harris, who will get you hooked up with WhatsApp, the free owned by Facebook 
a communication app and that's how you will do you will translate your measurements take take measurements of your feet send pictures of that measurements um, and then you can look at all the boot styles and this is kind of what I did with my Brian the bootmaker boots too you look, take a look on their Instagram and all the boot styles and you tell them what you want and so these things here some of them are kind of my creation in, in concert with Harris and some of them are copies of other things that other people did that I like so you can just kind of look at what they have and then begin to message him communicate with him talk about pricing pricing for shipping um, I do not have a pair of engineer boots I had some in my hands before I was selling them for a friend and I will tell you that the engineer boots are phenomenal and the brass hardware on those engineer boots is heavier than any brass hardware that I've seen on any other boot and it's really really cool the first pair that I got from Professor Barnett's is these mock toes and I think that there was the first I saw some mock toes in turquoise that they had six inch and I just loved them and I think this was the first eight inch that they made because he said he had to kind of um, make some patterns to make the eight inch um, they did not have the turquoise at that time this is a blue crazy horse leather mostly he will ask me for the soles and the leathers whether I want you know they can I think they have sometimes Italian leathers different Merriam leathers different leathers um, but I, I usually I just take you know the less expensive locally sourced stuff that's what I did um, and these are mock toes we also know that mock or moccasin is a shoe that was from the indigenous of the the Americas here and so that is a style that has gone around the world maybe there's something to these boots that is Indonesian besides the beautiful skill that put them together of, of culturally indigenously but I do not know but these are mock toe they are not a molded mock toe there is actually a different piece of leather here in the middle um, I they were very very light I wanted something that kind of blue jean indigo ish and I just put a little bit of um, El Oso neutral um, polish on them and it darkened them up just a little bit um, El Oso is what Brian the bootmaker uses all the time I don't know where he gets it but I there's an El Oso outlet that was very close to a house I used to live in in Guadalajara so I go to the El Oso outlet in El Centro Guadalajara and they have it at the Mercados at the supermarkets and everything also it it doesn't usually darken things up too much but this um, uh, it's, it's just a neutral cream really and um, uh, but this uh, crazy horse was darkened a little bit by it the laces are some leather uh, heavy leather quarter inch laces that I got from like the Scottish Highland Games here in the Bay Area of California and um, I had chose on all three of these I chose it's like a Danite Danite is an English brand that has been I think over a hundred years manufacturing soles in England these are locally sourced Danite style as far as I can see they are locally sourced and um, they have the little Professor Barnett's logo on the boots there um, it's like a little horse kind of looks like a chess piece and I just love these boots you know I love the Cuban heel or the curved heel I if you can see that I got that on all my boots um, that uh, that Cuban heel this this curve I mean, most cowboy boots have much more of a you know they go in a lot but they have a taper but this what they call the Cuban heel I don't, I don't know why it's called Cuban has that curve right there and I really really love it I really love how when the, the stitching stops you have almost a little shelf of the leather there um, this one is a full sole so again we have the rubber stripe going all the way through those are my 8 inch Professor Barnett, Barnett's mocks they nailed my size everything fit me perfectly um, it, it, it took a little bit of break in for you know the the heel cup here is is kind of exaggerated in some of these boots it took a little bit for my uh, uh, th maybe three or four wears for my feet to kind of really settle in I was getting a little bit of heel slip but it, it really uh, uh, settled in and the fit is perfect the second pair that I got is um, what they call they just call these the mocks or mock toes these are the eight inch mocks 
These are called the Abrahams. And I was looking at the Abrahams that they, they had on their Instagram site. And I really like them. They seem to be like a traditional kind of army boot. And it looks like I got almost exactly the same heel stack and sole and, um, and everything on this. But I chose the leather. They have the barogue or what uh, I think we said Wesco calls it the dress. The holes right there on the toe. Um, I picked the stitching. I have black and white stitching there. Um, I picked everything out. I picked these colors and I got steel toe because I'm a carpenter. And that was a little bit something I think unusual for them. But they did that and it was no problem. It turned out great. These are amazing heavy duty, really cool army boots. And also I wanted to mention that it looks like all these are lined and they have a lining on the inside. They actually line them and um, it's a very soft lining for some kind of calf skin. They have some, I, I think as well as, as Roseanneville said, there's, there's like a synthetic insole in there um, that seems like it's glued in. I haven't had any issue with it. Uh, I, I saw now that um, I was kind of trying to copy somebody's turquoise mocks, but I went eight inch and got them blue. But then I saw that somebody now here, maybe it's one of you guys watching, it kind of copied the, my, my colors on the Abraham. I bought the Abraham, I think, in a soft toe, but I really, really, really love the Abraham. He calls it article. When he, you see him describe in the information on Instagram, this will be called the Abraham article. And the third pair that I got, and these I really, really... These are like my favorites now. And like I told you before, it's like every pair of boots I have on becomes my favorite. Right now I'm wearing some antique Canadian made uh, gorilla boots and um, they're leather soles and I'm wearing those right now. You'll, you can see that on my Instagram, Happiness Carpenter, what I'm wearing today. Indigo Farrah jeans and also um, Red Wing and other boots for work and fashion or if you're in California, on Facebook, or if you're in California, the California Boot Collectors Association, I think we got another member, yay, we got about 15 here in California uh, after the, the last video. And what we're gonna do is, if we get enough guys in California that wanna talk about boots, that kinda wanna meet up, and because I am just kind of a little guy of boot collectors, and there's some folks here that are big time and so I kind of want to get together, meet these guys, and get a feel for them, and talk about boots with them. So I think after we get around 50 members, we're going to start talking about some kind of meetups and um, just some get-togethers and some boot talk, and we can all wear fancy boots and jeans and talk about boots, and it'll be a fun thing. It'll be better than going to a bar, that's for sure. <laughs> Hanging out in that way. I, I love doing my hobby. I don't like. Um, mind altering things. I am sober as a judge all the time. The bulky toe article in veg tan leather. I saw it. I copied this for sure. I, I think some of you guys, somebody bought these and I was just like, wow. Um, I don't, this is not the kangaroo. It kind of looks like that kangaroo leather. It also has the brogue toe, calf toe. It's just the back end of that boot. It's so cool. And the toe and the little sprungness of the toe right there. And that one's got a half sole. The other two have a um, complete rubber sole going all the way through. It's also the locally sourced Danite style. And I just really love these. I have had really good luck with Professor Barnett's and good communication and saved a lot of money. Uh, it's not that really, it's, it's getting something different, getting people's art. For me, these are art. Look at this. I, you know, people are sitting there making these by hand. I'm a carpenter. Everything I do is by hand. I use a lot more machines than these guys use. I know a lot of factory shoemakers or um, shoemakers over here in the States use a lot more machines than they use. And so I just really enjoy supporting the art of boot making and shoemaking. And I know that you do too, and that's why you're watching. So I thank you for being here today. And um, I want to remind you, just stay away from mean people. Stay away from people that are, are argumentative in your life and negative. It's only going to cause you to become that way. So please try and be happy.
try and love and forgive and share knowledge of boots when at all possible. Happiness!